Bums know that women will sniff them out in a matter of seconds. So as far as they're concerned, they just keep it real. And surprise, surprise, these chicks actually stick around. So here's lesson number one for the ladies. Train your girl to be the submissive, obedient, respectful woman she was meant to be with my brand new interactive ebook, How to Train Your Woman. Link in description. So the article starts, uh, quote, for a relationship to work, things should be as close to 50-50 as they possibly can be. Oh boy. While sometimes that delicate balance will tip in one direction or the other sometimes, depending upon what's going on in your lives, you should feel content that things are pretty equal most of the time. Can you honestly say this is the case? Is your boyfriend pulling his own weight? Or is all the work left up to you? If you relate to any of the following, you're the one putting in all the effort in your relationship and things need to change as soon as possible. So, as Dr. B84 points out immediately, the first sentence already sets off alarm bells. You see, Miss Dykstra here says that relationships should be 50-50, but then she qualified it at the end by saying as possibly as they can be. Now, one might think that she might be thinking it could be 60-40, 70, 30, or even 90, 10, who knows? But let's make one thing clear. As far as women, as far as she, and other women like her are concerned, a relationship that isn't 50-50 automatically means that the woman is in control. She said as close as possible, but what she means is tell him you believe in 50-50 relationships, but then take control later. Let's make another thing clear. When we hear relationships should be 50-50, what that means is that both people in that relationship have equal authority. Guys, this is 674% wrong. In every relationship, sexually or otherwise, there is a leadership hierarchy. We have all heard the term, there are too many chiefs and not enough Indians, right? Well, there's a reason that statement came to be, and that reason is that there is always a leadership hierarchy, no matter how much women want to deny it. And when women have authority in a relationship, things go poorly. And guys, I don't need statistics or studies to know this. Just look around. Go to Reddit. Listen to the stories that people are telling. And you'll know that when a woman is the leader in a relationship, those relationships do not work, period. But then she tells on herself when she talks about the hypothetical situation where the dude isn't pulling his weight. Uh-huh. Uh, Miss Dykstra, we have a name for the kind of men who don't pull their weight in a relationship. We call those guys bums. Women who complain about bums are the ones who constantly date bums. Now I can already hear you banshees now. Well, you complain about 304, so you must date 304s. That's very true, or it used to be true. But here's the difference. Women are experts at hiding their 304 tendencies while bums don't try to hide the fact that they're bums. Not only don't they try it, they can't. They tell these chicks up front, look, I live with my mom, I don't have a job, I smoke weed all day, and I play video games, right? But they commit to these losers anyway. Girls love to give us the impression that they only smash bums and use them for sex, but in reality, these bitches actually try to change these guys. Then after, I don't know, four years, three abortions, catching him cheating twice, that's when they squawk, I know my worth, at 35 years old. Yeah, we smash hoes, but any man who's worth a damn knows that you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. We know this. We know this. But for whatever reason, modern women think that they can actually change a bum and waste some of their most valuable years running behind Dave, the unemployed garage band guitar player who may or may not have three baby mamas in three different states. Women love to also pretend that bums somehow tricked them into staying with them. But girls are far better judges of male character and status than men are about female character and status. And like I said before, hoes hide their hoe tendencies and they hide them very, very well. Bums know that women will sniff them out in a matter of seconds. So as far as they're concerned, they just keep it real and surprise, surprise, these chicks actually stick around. So here's lesson number one for the ladies. Ladies, listen up. If you know he's a bum, don't let him smash. Ladies, you guys have a supernatural sixth sense as far as, as far as recognizing and differentiating between men of value, bums, and everything between. They talk about how stupid we are all the time. Men are dumb, blah, 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 blah. 
But somehow they play the victim and act like some bum tricked her into staying with him when in actuality she knew he was a bum the entire time and chose to stay. That's your fault, ladies.